So over the past few days, I have made a point in stating I feel people can fly once they have fixed this game, fixed Outriders. I felt that they were just going to leave the game and be done with it. Leaving it to be that one and done game a lot of people thought it was going to be before release. They also said that depending on reception of the game at release, will determine whether they work on future content. Today we have news on this as well as stats about the game, how it's performed at release, which they tweeted out not long ago, which we'll get into right now. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like it really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more Outriders, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so let's get into it. So they tweeted out the following. We're excited to reveal that we surpassed 3.5 million unique players in our first month after launch. Thank you. Now we know there's a patch coming tomorrow, I covered it yesterday, so I don't need to get into that, but they say further stats are in this thread. Here we see over 3.5 million players in one month, not bad whatsoever. I mean, I'm not sure about month two though, considering the amount of problems with month one there was. They go on to showcase 120 million hours played 31 hours average game time or play time which isn't too bad at all considering what was the campaign supposedly 25 to 30 hours so a lot of people have probably done the campaign in what 25 uh, hours done a few challenge to expeditions i mean it makes sense that average play time is 31 hours actually a lot longer than i thought it would be then we see uh, what class was used most and we can see Trickster with 27.9%. Yes, my Tricksters. Then we have Pyromance at 26.3%, Technomance at 23.9% and the Devastator at 21.9%. That's you know what, I wouldn't have thought it was going to be that way. I thought Tricksters were going to be most uh, used because of the demo. But I thought a hard second would be Technomancer, but yep, this proves that wrong. Okay, so most used ability per class with a Devastator Gravity Jump, Pyromancer Ash Blast, Technomancer Coil Turret, and Tricks to the Slow Trap. That's surprising with me, I would have thought it was definitely here, yeah, the Twisted Rounds. See, I don't use Twisted Rounds or Slow Trap on my Trickster, so yeah, that's a crazy one. And most used ability overall people is that slow trap. I think it's probably because obviously tricksters are the most used and I think it's one of the first uh, abilities you get. So it kind of does make sense. Okay, so a total of 1.6 quadrillion damage. Seriously, 1.6 quadrillion. Wow, they ain't coming out of none of my builds. I know that for sure. Then you have 9.2 billion Pefaro kills craziness 20 billion total kills like what now i wonder how many of these count for us within the last couple of weeks have been one hit by those brood mothers and other enemies that had no right in one hitting us so we must count towards that number most popular weapons people the death steward and the funeral pyre death steward i would have 100 percent put on this list i'm not sure about the funeral pyre though i probably would have gone with the pre-order assault rifle i know a lot of technomancers um love that weapon i personally never used it i think it's called the earthborn renegades assault rifle but yeah i would have probably put that on this list they have 1.9 trillion scrap collected and 457 billion titanium pieces collected like wow most hours invested by one player 797 hours damn people that is some dedication i think i'm what i don't know 400 500 maybe i thought i was dedicated but geez this guy's double me absolutely nutty people and they end the uh the thread with thank you to all players on all platforms we are continuing to listen carefully and want to assure you that we are committed to improving and enhancing your experience throughout the coming weeks and months we are also looking forward to expanding outriders in the future so there we have it people confirmation that you're expanding the Outriders universe, the Outriders world, and it's more or less confirmation that new content will be coming. Now, obviously no time or date has been uh, dropped as of yet, but as soon as we get information on this, you know I have it covered here right here on my channel. But yes, guys, um, this is something I didn't expect. I mean, like I said, I made a point in my last two videos and I was hoping that people can fly at least one dev from across the, the board, watch one of those videos and heard my message of, uh, I think they were just gonna leave this game once all fixes were done. 
I'm glad they've spoke about that and I'm glad they are planning on expanding the Outriders universe in the future so that's great great news guys but let's just hope they fix the game first and that's what this game needs and that's what we want so after that yes bring us new content because that's what we need people we need that it is getting a tad boring now I'm not gonna lie but yes people tell me your thoughts on this down below in that comments section if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out if you're new around here and want to see more outriders on a daily basis be sure to subscribe and if you never want to miss a video or upload you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button but guys thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully i will see you on that next one